Hello everyone, my name is Roger Rowan, today I'm showing you guys how to install EUP Law and Order and EUP Serve and Order to your LSPDFR. So, just correction, first of all, I meant Serve and Rescue, not Serve and Order, but the first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the Emergency Uniforms Law and Order Pack. So, all you guys are going to want to do is head down here and click download this file and make sure you're installing the EUP Law and Order 8.2.ra. That's the one we're going to be installing today. It's a lot easier than installing any mod loader because you do not have to install a bunch of other mods. In my opinion, it's a lot easier. Although I know a lot of other people will say Lenny's mod loader way is a lot easier, but there is a bunch of other ways you can do it. And personally, I like the EUP Emmanuel way because you have a lot more control over what's going into your game and then you can even see what's going wrong. So it makes your LSPDFR mod in Korea a little bit easier. So what you guys are going to want to do is just hit download. It's a little bit of a bigger file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back to once this is finished installing and then we'll continue on with the video. Okay, so as you guys can see, it just finished installing and what you get is plugins and EUP law and order 8.2.oiv. What you guys want to do is minimize out your browser. Keep it open as we are going to need it. And then all you guys are going to want to do is simply just drag and drop this EUP law and order folder onto your desktop. Might take a little bit, might not, depends what you're doing. Ignore my desktop at the minute. There's a bunch of other files on there because I'm installing EUP and I'm also installing a I'm also installing a 5M 5PD server for some other videos and things like that. So make sure you guys look out for that in the future. But on my desktop, it's a complete mess. But what you guys are gonna do is drag that to your desktop. You don't really need to know where it is. And then bring up your GTA 5 main directory. So go to your File Explorer. Those of you guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory will be down in the description below. And then for those of you guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. What you guys are going to want to do is program files 86 and then go down to Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Choose a GTA 5 folder you want a mod. For me, it's going to be this one right here with all my other mods inside of it. You will be able to see when we do this it's going to ask me to replace it since I already have it installed but I am reinstalling it for the sake of the video it will not ask you to replace anything apart from maybe one or two files if it doesn't then there's nothing wrong with that it just means you don't have anything to replace and what you guys are going to want to do is simply just drag and drop this plugins folder on in and then for me it's going to ask to replace my preset outfit since I already have EUP installed and you can close out of this now and what we're going to do is install that OIV file we just dragged to our desktop keep your GTA 5 main directory open because you are going to need to come back to that in the future and then go to your open IV that's not how you spell open and then open that on up and, and then select windows just as you normally would let it start up let it go to the home page and then once that is done, what you guys are going to want to do is come up here to the top left hand corner, click it. It's going to say open package installer. It should bring up a little menu. Don't know why it took that so long. And then all you guys want to do is find the law and order that OIV. I have a lot of other OIVs because of all the other stuff I've been installing. Find that and simply just left click on it and open. And then what you guys are going to want to do is install and mods folder and make sure you confirm your installation do not do it anywhere else other than your mods folder as it will mess up your game it won't mess it up to the point where it'll crash but you will not have any clean versions of your game and you will not be able to you will not be able to revert to anything if something does go wrong so always install it in your mods folder if you don't know how to make a mods folder all you guys got to do is check out my video on how to make one I will leave that in the info card in the top right hand corner of the screen if it gives me the option to make it. Last time it didn't. But if it does, then I'll click that. If it doesn't, then all you guys are going to want to do is just click the link down in the description below. As you can see here, the installation succeeded. Close that. Keep your open IV open because we have got the next download link down in the description below. Which is going to be your EUP menu. All you guys are going to want to do with this one is click down on this file, agree and download. This one's tiny, so it shouldn't take too long and I won't even need to cut it. But once it's done, what you guys are going to want to do, open it on up, like so. And inside of here, you'll have your files and documentation. Don't worry about the documentation. You can go through it if you want to. But go into the files, and here you'll have plugins and Rage Native UI. Now, this is where we're going to be installing it back to your GTA 5 main directory in your folders. Simply just grab both of these folders and files and drag and drop them into your GTA 5 main directory. Yet again, for me, it's going to ask to replace two files, but for you, I believe it'll only ask to replace one, which will be your Rage Native UI. If it doesn't, yet again, nothing wrong with that. It'll just install you a Rage Native UI. 
what you guys are then going to want to do is click the next download link down in the description below. This is the last thing. If you guys have got this far and you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so because I'm getting absolutely thrashed by a current bug with YouTube that I have been informed of. It is legit from my YouTube creator support manager or team, whatever you want to call it. Now, there is a glitch going around where every single time one of you guys subscribes to my channel, there's a good chance you'll get unsubscribed within... 10 15 minutes i don't know why it's doing it but it's really impacting my channel in particular i don't know why youtube creator support said they don't know why they're just working on an issue a uh, fix for this issue but it's really really hurting me i'm not growing as fast as i can because normally i'd be gaining 10 subscribers a day and now i'm only gaining like two because they delete the rest of them it's very annoying so please make sure you subscribe and then please come back in the future when you watch one of my other videos to help you install your lspfr please make sure that you are still subscribed because it really really helps me out and in a minute i'm being badly affected by it so if you guys could help me out that'd be greatly appreciated but what you guys are then going to want to do is head down here and click download this file and then make sure you're installing the normal one again not the lenny's mod loader one download that one this one should take not that long at all but what I will do is just to save you time, just to make the video a little bit more quick, I'll cut back to once this is finished installing. Okay, so once that's finished installing, you'll be greeted with one singular OIV file. Now, to install this, all you guys are going to want to do is minimize out your browser. You can close it now, I guess, because you have nothing else to install. Keep it open if you want, it, your choice. And then what you guys want to do, you can close out your GTA 5 main directory unless you want to keep it open so you can launch your game afterwards. And then what you guys are going to want to do is simply just drag and drop this file onto your desktop. And close out the download, bring back up your open IV. Make sure you come up to the left hand corner here on the open package installer. Now if it doesn't let you do that, didn't let you do it the last time, all you guys want to do is just hit this tools button and then go to ASI manager and make sure all of these guys are installed and they're green and they are not blue. And then what you guys are gonna want to do is just find your S and R 1.4.oiv. If it is a little bit of a newer version, doesn't matter, it'll still be the exact same way. Click open. And then what you guys are going to want to do is simply just click install and then install to your mods folder. Make sure you're confirming the installation and yet again, make sure you're installing it to your mods folder. This is vital so you do not mess up your GTA 5 yet again. If you do not have a mods folder, don't brush it off. Make sure you get one because it is a lifesaver when it comes to not having to reinstall your whole GTA just in case things do do wrong. So all you got to do is reinstall your mods folder. It's that simple. So please make sure you guys do it and don't come into me when your game goes wrong. What you guys want to do is hit install. Should not take very long whatsoever. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in game. I'm going to show you guys how to work your EUP. What is up everyone and now welcome inside the game. So you're inside the game. You should have got and reloaded and loaded up all your plugins. Make sure everything is loaded up before you go ahead and try it at this. What you guys then want to do is press F11 on your keyboard and that should bring up the EUP menu. That's how you know you have done things right. And then from here, you guys can select and make your own outfit. So in EUP, a law and order, you can go through LSPD and you go through all the different classes. It's really, really cool. Something I'm really, really hopeful for that they're at is a formal LSPD outfit that you'd wear to, you know, maybe funerals and maybe marries and people getting married and things like that. Just a formal outfit. It's just something that I'm really looking forward to and I really hope they do add in the future. And obviously you have a bunch of other classes like LSSD, Los Santos County Sheriff's Department. Then you have SAHP. Then you have the Rangers. And then you have the BCSO, FBI, DOA, Noose, IAA. And then USAF, which is the military police. And then you have the SASPA, which is going to be your, I believe, your state prison. Maybe your state prison stuff. Your sta yeah, your state prison authority. And then your LSIA police, so the people who park up by LSIA. Then your LSPP, which is going LSPP, which is going to be your poor authority. For some reason, I thought I said that wrong. And then you also have the Rockford Hills police, along with Del Petro and NYSP and those are all the ones you have and then also the other thing we installed you did not have to install this but I like installing this is some EUP add-ons do use this it's going to be your fire your EMS you can also be a bunch of other things including National Guard and USAF there's a bunch of other things you can be in here so I'll let you guys now get on with your 5M 5M with your LSPDFR EUP I don't know why I went to 5M but other that thing goes so so much for watching thank you guys so so much for choosing this video out of any other tutorials i really do appreciate it make sure you smash that like button make sure you comment down below and make sure you subscribe 
as it really, really helps me out. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers, and goodbye.